This is the last time you explored a bookstore. You might be thinking about the large chain stores that used to be found all over the country mm -hmm. until Amazon. Yes, or you might want to check out a bookstore here in the D that's like any other. So it sells rare and used books. It's one of the biggest in the country and the largest in Michigan. All right, and it was ranked at number two for the best bookstores in the world oh, by wow. C CNN. That's and right. Let us show you why. This is John King founder of John King Bookstore in downtown Detroit. King Books, how can I help you? This is his crew that keeps the place running like clockwork. With approximately one million books in stock, this place is a Detroit gem. What's my favorite book? The one I just last sold to somebody. <laughs> Manager Deborah showed me around while everyone else was making book magic. What do people come here for and what kind of books do you guys offer? Well, we offer a little bit of everything. We have about 900 categories of books here in the bookstore. My question, what's the most visited section? Michigan history is one of our most popular sections. People come here from all over the world and they descend on this section, specifically Detroit. A lot of young people are interested in how Detroit ended up where it did historically, and they're also interested in participating in the comeback. So this is one of the most highly shopped sections in our store. The store is like an amusement park of knowledge that feels like something from a movie. I wandered the aisles until I came across something familiar. Van Gogh, at least I know who he is. That's very fancy. And the thing about this place is you walk in and you know it's a bookstore, but it feels more like a library but more than a library, if that makes sense. You need multiple visits to be able to take this all in. When people walk in, I try, they're already overwhelmed. Mm -hmm. So one of the things I do is I put a map in their hand and I say, look at this, get your bearings, wow. and then pose your questions. The adventure goes on in the rare book section by appointment only. This table right here are all presidential books, most of them signed, a lot of Nixon, a lot of Carter but things going back to Franklin Roosevelt. Sprinkled in are statues of Hemingway and Shakespeare, and a lot of things that will surprise you. This is a French prayer book from 1811, and the most important part of it, it was printed in Detroit. And this was on Father Gabriel Richard's printing press that he brought to Detroit. So this is one of the first books printed in Detroit. That's amazing. Isn't that amazing? Being in this business is like treasure hunting, so we're always uncovering new things. Knowledge is power, and if they come down here, they can find a lot of knowledge, and I think it would help them as a person or as a group of people if they come down. Hey, the Gooseberry Fool. It was awesome. The, I, I can't even begin to tell. It's a place that if you work downtown Detroit, I recommend going down there on your lunch break, roaming around a little bit. It's literally like two blocks this way Just as right we there. sit here right now. So I told him, you know, I would do anything to get a signed copy of Their Eyes Were Watching God by Zora Neale Hurston, right? So I go, okay. I'll give you one whole paycheck if you can make that happen for me. He was like, honey, that's not going to be enough. Oh. Dang. Wow. Can I borrow some money? <laughs> Uh, can I borrow some money? Hang on. Jason's I got might me. have a five spot for you. Hold on. <laughs>